Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing my blush collection. Um, I have quite a bit. It's mostly blush, but I am going to include my bronzers and my highlighters because I don't have very many of those to do an entire video for. So this is going to be a bit of a longer video, as you can tell by how long it is. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's not a declutter this time because I love makeup and I don't want to part with any of it. But I may do a declutter sometime, maybe the end of next year, and declutter some stuff because I only see my collection growing. So let's start with some of my highlighters. My absolute favorite highlighter is the Mary Lou Man Manizer by The Balm. And let me swatch it for you. It's a really pretty champagne color. And there it is on the hand. This is beautiful. I bought this from work. It's what I'm wearing today. I definitely recommend picking that one up. The next one is by Teeny Beauty. Is that what it's called? Teeny Beauty? Yeah. And this is the Barfly in Hot Candlelit. I got this in my Ipsy um, a month ago. So this is what it looks like. I have not actually used this on yet, but it is more of a pinky highlight and it's right there. I do like this one more. Um, but I am going to keep this and eventually use it. And you do get quite a bit in there for it being maybe it's full size I looked and looked and looked and I could not find this online to figure out how if it was full size or how much it cost but I enjoy it but I just haven't used it it is rather pink the next one I got in a Sephora play and it's by Tristique and this is their mini highlight stick this one you get a lot less of but still get quite a bit of it so that was in my one of my uh, Sephora play unboxings and that's how that one swatches so I definitely need to try that one out I haven't really tried that one out yet either I don't usually do stick highlights but let's move on this one is by Chella and it's the highlight stick and I've had this for a long time I need to sharpen it but I used to use this in the inner corner of my eyes just because it's so bright and um, it's almost like a concealer highlight maybe I need to move that to my concealer drawer because it's more looking more like a concealer than a highlight but is to go like under the brows or in the inner corner of the eyes and it's called a ivory lace highlighter but I need to use that move that to my concealer drawer another highlight that I have is by Becca and this is the moonstone but it's the liquid one and this is how it swatches right there I just don't reach for see it kind of just I don't really reach for the liquids. I need to start because some of them are really pretty. I just haven't. So there are those first five swatched and let's keep going, keep moving. So the next thing I have is by LA Colors. It's one of my bronzers and this is in bronze. I bought this at the Dollar Tree because I thought I was going to use it as eyeshadow, but it's really, really orange. It's pretty, but it's very orange, but I guess it would be a really pretty eyeshadow color. I need to move that to my eyeshadow drawer maybe. Because I don't really bronze my face. There's not really a day that goes by that I say, ooh, I really need to add some bronzer. This is no bronzer. I'm not really a bronzy person. And on those days that I do want to add, do like more of a neutral look and use bronzer as blush, I have some of those kind of colors. So I think that would look better in on my eyes. Another one of my single bronzers is this Lisa Frank one that I got in an Ipsy. In the video where I unbox three Ipsy's, Ipsy versus Ipsy versus Ipsy, I have this Lisa Frank matte bronzer. And I'm gonna post, I'm gonna put it right next to this other one so you can see just how shimmery. See how matte this is and how that's a ni much nicer, cooler tone color. This one is really bright and more of like a actual bronze shade. So this is gonna get moved to my eyeshadows. This one I'm going to keep for those days that I do wanna bronze up a little bit. But this is really soft and really nice. So I really do like the Lisa Frank collection. You guys didn't know Lisa Frank is my all-time favorite artist. I'd rather have her art hanging in my room than Van Gogh or anyone like that. Okay, let's grab another bronzer. The next bronzer I'm going to do is the Chocolate Soule by Too Faced. I have a couple of, of Too Faced items, so I'm going to show you those all together. So this is the first one. It's the Chocolate Soule. Chocolate Soule. And it smells like chocolate, which everyone knows. Too Faced is known for their items smelling like chocolate. I actually broke down and ordered the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. It's going to be my very first. There's the Too Faced one. So this is the one that I tend to reach for whenever I do want to add a bronze because it's really natural looking as compared to these two. So 
definitely gonna keep that one. I broke down and bought the chocolate gold palette because it was Sephora was having 8% cash back on Ibotta score. Plus, since I am VIB, I got $20 off of a $50 purchase. So I ordered the palette and I ordered um, a scrub and it ended up costing me $33 and I got like $4 back on, I not Ibotta, but eBay. So I ended up paying like $29 for the palette and a scrub with shipping and a couple of free samples. So I'm excited for that. I only two, have two other Too Faced items. I used to have more, but I guess I used them up. But these are the other two items that I have. This one is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow and Rosy Glow. And it is a duo. So let's swatch both of these highlights. One is more rosy and one is more golden. So there's the rosy one and there's the golden one. Very pretty highlights. I need to use these. I do like powder a lot more. I've just been so using that Mary Lou Manizer one that I haven't really used anything else, but this is a good way to kind of see what's in my collection that I'm missing out on. The other Too Faced, the only blush that I actually have by Too Faced is Love Flush and So Happy Together. So Happy Together, and you can see I've used quite a bit of this. Um, I was using this quite a bit. And there's the blush, it's a really pretty color. And now I'm going to move on to my Estee Lauder products. So I thought I had more, but I guess not. So this is one of my Estee Lauder products. It is the Blush in Rebel Rose. Estee Lauder's products are really pigmented. Well, I say that and then I swatch it. It doesn't swatch very good. But there is the Rebel Rose. And then I have this palette that has a pink kiss and a shimmer in it. So there is the pink kiss and there's the all over shimmer. So let's squatch these. There's pink kiss. So there's Rebel Rose, pink kiss, and the all over shimmer. So those are pretty. I need to add some new things, switch out my makeup. I actually got inspired to go through my makeup again by watching um, Leora Makeup Loves something. I watch her videos and I'm like, I need to go through my makeup and I actually watched her video earlier. I was sitting on the couch all day doing nothing, sleeping and eating and watching TV and then I watched her video and I'm like, I need to film. So it's roughly midnight on Sunday or close to it. Oh, 11.58, yep. But I got up and I was like, I'm going to go film. So this is the other things that I have by Estee Lauder in pretty gold packaging. This is their limited edition sculpting bronzer and their limited edition luminizer. And there's how those look. So let's swatch these. Ooh, that's really soft. Both of these are really, really soft. And let's see how these swatch. Very pretty, 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 pretty. I love pretty things. And the makeup remover wipe that I'm using is the Shea Butter Cleansing Wipes by Rich Radiance that I got, I think, in a, um, what's that box that I get called? Peaches and Petals. I don't know why I went blank there. So the next thing I have is by Pixie by Petra. And this is a blush and a highlight. It's called the Peach Honey Beauty Blush Duo. So they're both, say they're both blushes, but these are definitely two highlighters, not two blushes. And that gave really good pigment. Those swatched really, really well. That is beautiful. So I need to pull this back out and use this some more. Even as eyeshadow, those would be, I would rock both of those as eyeshadows. Those are swatched really well. So Pixie got that in Ipsy. And that I believe is full size. That's pretty big if it's not full size. Next thing is by Brooke Cosmetics. Lauren Brooke Cosmetics. I think I got this in one of my vegan subscriptions two years ago. But it's a really pretty blush. And let's swatch this. It's, it doesn't feel the best. It feels like grainy. You know whenever you feel some blushes and they feel really soft? This does not feel soft. But let's swatch this. Not the best swatch. Let's see if I can build it up. So it is a pretty color. You just have to build it up. And it does feel very grainy. I think that's why I stopped using it. And this is the pressed cheek color in Sweet 16. 
The next item is by Peak. I got this in an Ipsy and it's not my favorite. It, first of all, it's teeny, teeny, tiny. And I'll just show you compared to like my Seraphine, which is also small, or like one of the Tarte blushes. Yeah. So this is by Peak. It's super tiny and that's what it looks like. But let's swatch it and see. Um, it's a cream, which I'm not a fan of. But let's swatch it right here. It doesn't swatch very good. Let's see if I can get a better swatch. It's just so creamy. I have some other creams, and I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to use them, but it's right there. Not, not the best swatch, not the best makeup. I need to either use it up because it is so small or just declutter it, but I don't want to declutter anything because I'm just growing my collection. So let's keep moving on. Still got a lot to go, and I see we're already 11 minutes into it. So, all right, next thing is by Hikari. This is really pretty. I wore this quite a bit. It is a quad with a blush, two highlights, and a bronzer. So, let's swatch all of these. I wore this quite a bit, and it's still. Let's see. Whoa, that gives a lot of color. I need to move that to my eyeshadow drawer because those two would look bomb as eyeshadows. But this is a pretty blush and that is still pretty as pigmented. But these two, I need to switch to my eyeshadow drawer. Those are, wow. I forgot how pigmented those are. But those are pretty. You are killing it, Hakari. Alright, let's see. The next thing I have is a blush by Wet n Wild and a blush by Elle. So, this is the one by Wet n Wild. It is just called Blusher in Heather Silk. And this is the blush by e.l.f. It's called Blush by, and it's Pink Passion. So let's do Pink Passion. Can you tell I like pinky blushes? It's Pink Passion, and then this one, this Heather, Heather Silk. And this is just tearing apart, falling apart, but I still don't want to get rid of it. There's Pink Passion and there's Heather Silk. Very pretty, still pigmented, still want to keep them, even though they've probably seen better days. The next is by Ish. It is a contour kit in light medium. I think I got this in a Fab Fit Fun, I think. As you can see, I used the entire pan of the highlighter. I only have the blush and two bronzers, so let's swatch these. These are quite a bit softer than those other ones, um, but still not the softest, not the best. And very chalky. I don't know if you can see that, but quite quite a bit of fallout and very chalky on those. So uh, I really like that highlight though. That was in there. But those ish ones I've seen better days. I know I've had that in my collection for about two years or so. So definitely seen better days on those. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going. The next I have is by Bare Minerals, and these are loose blushes, like loose pigment which I don't reach for often. This one is called Golden Gate Radiance and this one is called Intrigue. So let's do Golden Gate first. It's just so messy, but they're so pretty. Once I put it on, I'm like, wow, this is pretty, but it's just so messy. I have not, I have not mastered loose pigment in eyeshadow or blush, but I will show you guys and that is beautiful. Maybe I need to move this to my eyeshadow drawer as well and get more use out of it. And I think I got one of these free because I placed an order on their website. So one of those I'm going to keep in the blush drawer. The other one I'm going to move to my eyeshadow drawer. So this top one is called Intrigue. And that bottom one is called Golden Gate Radiance. This one I'm going to move to my eyeshadow drawer because it's just it's so pretty and shimmery. And that one I'm going to keep in the blush because it's more matte. But man, those are pretty. Very pretty just really messy so I need to use like some primer with those I know a lot of people use Vicks plus maybe I should invest in a bottle of that spray your brush and then just dip it in there maybe that would work I don't know moving right along the next thing I have is by Elizabeth Arden and this is two blushes and one highlighter romantic rose highlighter and sun blush and that is what those look like and I got this last year whenever I did my Elizabeth Arden Ooh, those are soft 
my Elizabeth Arden Blockbuster. The blushes are really soft, the highlight is not, but let's do a look at these. So the highlight is way prettier than the blushes. The highlight is definitely lighting up. Hi, Lee. <laughs> but those are what those look like. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. The next thing is by Seraphine. I have two things by Seraphine Botanicals. This one has seen better days. And this one I got in an Ipsy. I want to say this one I got in one of my vegan boxes, but this is called Happy Hibiscus. It's not very soft. It swatches well though. It swatches really pretty. And this one's called Ginger and Gold Illuminating Peach Gold Blush. Very pretty as a blush or a highlighter or a blush topper. I think that's how I was using it, was that it was a blush topper. So that one is the Ginger and Gold, or no, it's, yeah, Ginger and Gold Illuminating Peach Gold Blush. And this one right here is called Happy Hibiscus. So those are both really pretty from Seraphine Botanicals. Every time I hear Seraphine, who named their daughter Seraphine? Was it the Afflicks? Jennifer? What's her name? Jennifer? Affleck? <laughs> what is her name? Now it's gonna be bothering me that I can't think of. Jennifer Garner. Did they name their daughter Seraphine? Anyways, that's what I think of. So those are pretty. And the next thing moving right along is by Pacifica. I got this blush palette in Ipsy and these blushes are really soft and one broke and it got everywhere. So I haven't really been using these, but whenever I first got them, I was using them and they are more on the soft side. They're real soft and they one of them broke. So this bottom one, this browner, darker, nudie one broke in my pan and this one's still together. But I think it's just not the best packaging but it was like two full size blushes and a mirror on the back. And this is the coconut blush, coconut infused blush in Beaming and Tender Heart. Those are the shades. But it got very dirty very fast and broke. But I'm still gonna keep it. Moving right along, I have a couple of things from So Susan. The first is Blush and Glow Illum Illuminating Blush in Rose Rust. And it's not very soft again, but I think it's gonna swatch good. Yeah, it swatched really pretty. And I have a statement stick that I've had for a long time. And this is just a highlighting crayon. So let me swatch it on this side. So I have the highlighting crayon right there and right there. And the blush right there. And the blush is called Rose Rust. And that highlight, you can see that highlight. I used to use this on my inner corners. And I would actually put it under my eyes as well. And it would just brighten up everything. So I don't think I have that much left. No, I don't have that much left. I need to just use it up. I think I'm going to make a video of like things to use up in 20, 2018 and that'd be one of them. One of the things I need to just use up and get out of my collection because it's been old and I'd rather, you know, have it in an empty video than do a declutter. Next thing is I have four little things by Benetint and this one is, so let's do these. These are the lip and cheek stains. Maybe I'll move it to my lip drawer because I have not, I haven't used them since they've been in my blush drawer. And I've had them in there since February and it's now December and I still have never used these. So I think I'm going to move these to my lip drawer so I can get more use out of them. Okay. So the first one is called High Beam and it is a satiny pink complexion highlighter. The second one is called Poise Posy Tint and it is a pink tinted lip and cheek stain. The third one is a rose tinted lip and cheek stain in Benetint and the last one is Lolly Tint and it is a candy orchid tinted lip and cheek stain. So there are those. Um, yeah, I've never used these. I've only swatched them. Um, they're not my favorite. Again, I don't, I don't really like anything but a um, powder. But these look like they have really good staying power because I'm wiping them off and they are still there. 
so they are they got some staying power if you like that okay we got a few more things left we got Clinique Tarte NYX and Lancome so we got four more brands to go and we will be done we will be done so the next thing is by Lancome I got four compacts from them I have a star bronzer natural glow and these are all things I got like in gift with purchases so I didn't buy any of these so let's see how these look a lot of these I didn't go out of my way to pick out and actually buy I want to say I actually bought maybe only like three of these the rest were either gratis no I want to say I only bought like maybe one fifth of this stuff one less than that most of it was either in an ipsy bag a free gift with purchase or gratis which I actually pick out my gratis but it still is free so that is the bronzer it is more of a natural bronzer something that I would actually reach for the next is a blush which is in Rose Fresque. Very soft, very soft blush from Lancome. Um, it's very sheer, let me see if I can build it up. So it's a very light, sheer blush. So if you like something more on the natural side, you might actually really like that. Next is Sheer Ombre Rose by Lancome, and it's another sheer one. So if you like sheer blushes, you might like these. Very pretty. I wear these on like natural days. And there's the sheer Alma Rose. And then the last one is a blush duo. And this is in a plum and perfect pink. So this is a plum and that's perfect pink and the perfect pink is more of like a highlighter. But let's swatch these. And a plum, or the perfect pink, is more of like a shimmery highlight um, cream. But there's the highlighting cream, and there's the blush. The blush again was called a plum, and this is the perfect pink. So those are all my long comb colors. Um, all the pinks are really similar, and I got all of those in gift with purchase. And then the big one I got last year whenever I did long combs, like big um, blockbuster. So next is I have four things by NYX. I have a blush, a bronzer, and two highlighters. So got a little bit of variety with NYX. The first thing I'll do is my Duo Chrome um, Illuminating Powder. This is one of their bronzers and this is in Crush Bloom. I bought these and I was so excited to get them that I never wear them. But this is Crush Bloom. It's really pretty. <laughs> The next one is Snow Rose, another one of those duo chrome highlighters. See, like these are both really pretty. I don't know why I don't ever reach for these. They're really pretty. And the next is a NYX blush that I bought on Macy's using my plenty points. I think I got, I'm pretty sure I got this for free. And this is in Intuition. And it's more on the dark side. I didn't realize it was going to be that dark, but I could always just layer those up. And the next thing is, it's called an Illuminator Baked Blush plus Illuminator plus Bronzer. And this is in Solstice. So very fitting for this time of year. And that's what it looks like. I was actually thinking this was going to be a blush, not a bronzer. So I did use this as like a... I used it as a blush, but it is more of like a bronzer because it's really dark. And there it is right there. So those are all my things from NYX. And that bronzer does look good if you wear it as blush and then put a highlight on it. It looks really natural and really pretty. So now we have our three NYX things and then we'll move on to Clinique and we will be done. And then you will have seen my entire blush, bronzer, and highlight collection. So from Tarte, I have three of these little mini blushes that last forever. I never need to buy a full size blush. I got one of these as a, I got one of these as a Sephora birthday gift, one in my Ipsy, and the other one was in a Tarte gift set that I bought. So I guess I did buy one of these, but I don't remember which one. 
Oh yeah, I do. Prim was in the gift set. Feisty was in my Ipsy. And Party was my um, birthday gift. So let's swatch all these. And these are really soft. These are the Amazonian clay blushes, which you guys are probably familiar with. But let's get it. Let's get them swatched. They are a little bit powdery, but that's okay. I don't think I've ever used the feisty one. Oh, I just got that one. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so on the bottom is feisty. In the middle is prim, and the one on top is party. I think I do like the party one the most. Party. So these are real pretty. And those are my heart Amazonian clay blushes. So it just leaves, my last stuff is my Clinique collection, which I have more Clinique than anything. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I work for Clinique. So I got two in gift with purchases, five that I got off of my gratis, no, and the other six I got in gratis. So let's do the first two that were in my gift with purchases. No, one was in a gift set, the other one was gift with purchase. I, I don't remember. Okay, I think that this one was in a gift set uh, almost two years ago. This is the Robust Rhubarb in Chubby It's Cheek. I don't have that much of that. That needs to be one of the things that I end up using up. So let's swatch it here. I just don't really use these blushes often, even though they're really good blushes. I mean, they gave you some good color. So that is Robust Rhubarb. This one is gonna be Roly Poly Rosy. I think I got this one in a gift with purchase. Very colorful. I definitely almost be used as lipstick. But those, these you can blend out and make more sheer and more wearable. And I'll just sheer them out and show you if you're interested how they look sheared out. So they could definitely be definitely more wearable if you sheer them out. The next thing is the only actual blush blush that I have, and it's Cupid. And this is a really, really pretty pink color, and it's really, really soft. And that's what that one looks like, and I wear this one pretty often. Today I'm wearing, today I'm wearing this blush. So I'm about to swatch that one, but. That is the Cupid. And then the last five that I have are my Clinique Pops. So I have five of these. They're all full size. I got all of these in gratis. And let's get soul watching. And let's watch my Pops. So first one I have is Melon Pop. And it is a really pretty light orange color. And these are some of my all-time favorite, favorite blushes. The next one is Peach Pop. And it is a little bit of a darker orange. And these are just so buttery and creamy even though they are powder blushes they were like gel and then they bake them so I guess they're like a mix between baked and regular blushes the third one is gonna be Heather pop this is probably the one I wear most often and whenever I do makeovers it's always the color that I gravitate towards the fourth one is gonna be plum pop which the lipstick plum pop is my absolute favorite color so I just got this one Oh, it's really pretty, really pigmented. And then the last one is Nude Pop. So on those days that I do want to do something a little more nude, like if I'm doing a really bright eye, I'll go for this one, and it's nude. So um, once I get my new palette in, my chocolate gold, I'll probably wear a nude on my cheek because I don't need all that color. Okay. So we have up here is the Melon Pop the peach pop, the heather pop, the plum pop, and the nude pop. So those are all very pigmented. They build up nicely whenever you first put them on. It's not like I put on too much. They build up nicely and you got some nice color. This one, um, my coworker kind of wears his eyeshadow quite a bit because it is so pigmented. But that is all my collection of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Tell me below which one is your favorite and tell me if you guys have any that I have or if you want to try any of these out. I'd be interested I'm interested to know what you guys think. So I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye guys.